right? In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the brake master cylinder on your Corolla. It's pretty much the same through most of the years of Corollas and a lot of other cars too. But all you really need is your brake master cylinder, some brake fluid, and a decent wrench set and socket set. So, first thing I'm going to do is pull the uh, air box to get some better access there. All right, I'm going to pull this air box out to get some uh, better access to the uh, brake master there. Just make it a little bit easier. It's just got those four clips here and uh, one electrical plug on the back, at least for the, uh, uh, what is it, 89 to 90, 92, I believe. And then that uh, clamp. I'm gonna get this uh, diagnostic plug out of the way too. I shove, shove some rags underneath it for when it leaks because I don't want that brake fluid all over everything. It'll eat up, eat up your paint. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter to take the brake lines off the master cylinder. Use the strongest wrench you can find because uh, these are pretty hard to get off sometimes. You end up rounding them off and then that's not going to be fun. There's one and then the other one's on the side down here. After you get the brake lines off, there's three 12 millimeter bolts holding the master cylinder to the vacuum booster. And just take those off. And I'm gonna pull out the bottom of the Air, air box too because that lower bolt is kind of hard to get to. And then I can get to the lower bolt. <clears throat> and there's a uh, fluid level indicator. Gotta disconnect the wire for that. There's two. There's three. And then it should pull off. Let's see, get these brackets out of the way. And there it is. Careful not to pour brake fluid everywhere like I did.
Okay, once you clean all that up, you can come in with your new master cylinder. Now there is a gasket in here on my brake master paper gasket, which I'm just going to reuse because it didn't come with one. Probably get away with not using it at all, but I'm going to use it. So just line up your three bolt holes on the studs in here. Make sure you put your brackets back on. Thread your nuts back on. Alright, that's pretty tight. Now reconnect your level indicator wire and thread your brake lines back in. They're pretty easy to cross thread so just be careful. Remember it's only okay to cross thread things when you're working on other people's cars. Alright, now I'm going to throw everything else back in. So the uh, brake master is all installed. Now all you need to do is fill it and start bleeding. Get all the air out. Uh, I don't have somebody here to help me bleed it right now, so I'll put a link in the description for a video that shows how to do that. And there you go. Thanks for watching.